I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Poppy Playtime 3. The first character I'll make is Catnap, and I'm gonna use a cat. It should be obvious why. First, let's remove this stuff, and we'll rearrange his body parts for now. Now, let's change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll make his legs a bit bigger like this. Now, let's give him some arms on the side, and now let's start to shape his head. Next, I'm gonna give him some ears on the top of his head, and we'll start to give him a big tail right here. Alright, now this is looking good, so let's color him in. First, we'll color his body fully purple, and I'm gonna give him a mouth up here. Next, I'm gonna color in this nose piece, and we'll start to give him some eyes. Now, let's add the moon that he has on his chest. Next, I'm gonna change his face a little bit like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how Catnap looks in-game. As you can see, this guy looks really happy, which I'm sure means he's very friendly and not at all scary. Catnap is very powerful, as he's able to do a lot of damage, and if you get attacked by Catnap, I made it so that he chases you on all fours like this. I take back what I said about him before, he's definitely scary. Catnap has a range attack which is supposed to be him shooting gas and when catnap hits you he will change it to nighttime because he wears the moon pendant catnap will also drop this night clock if he dies which makes it nighttime as long as you are holding it in your hand if you try to use a bed when catnap is around he will destroy the bed so that you cannot sleep and catnap is also immune to fall damage because he's a cat and cats are usually immune to fall damage overall i don't think catnap turned out that bad but he also looks a little bit funny so because of this i'm going to give catnap an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make dog day, and I'm gonna use a wolf because a wolf is a dog. First, we'll remove some of the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna move his body around a little bit for now. Next, let's give him some new legs like this, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now, I'm gonna copy one of the legs and turn it into an arm, and I'll give him a hand on the bottom of his arm. Now, let's start to change the shape of his head, and we'll give him some spots for his eyes up here. Now, let's give him some big floppy ears on the top, and I think this is looking pretty good, so now let's color him in. First, we'll color his entire body in orangish yellow. Now, I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Next, we'll color his ears a reddish color, and we'll do the same for his arms and his feet. Now, let's color these divider things a dark gray, and I'm gonna give him a nose like this. Next, let's draw the sun on the front of his chest. Alright, I think this is looking good. Let's add Dog Day to the game. This is how Dog Day looks in game. As you can see, he looks pretty good. Also, just like Catnap, he doesn't really look that scary. He has more of a friendly look. But don't let this trick you, though, as Dog Day has the same chasing animation that I gave to Catnap. I think I'm just gonna stay in creative mode for now. Since since Dog Day has the sun pendant, I made it so that when Dog Day hits you, he turns it to daytime instead of night. Dog Day is also able to spawn smiling critters to help him fight since he's the leader. But right now, he can only spawn Catnap because I haven't made any of the other ones. If you kill Dog Day, he will drop a Sun Axe, and the Sun Axe is insanely powerful as it does 19 attack damage and it can also destroy almost any block. Overall, I think Dog Day turned out a lot better than Catnap. I actually like how he looks this time. So because of this, I'm going to give Dog Day a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bobby Bear Hug. And I'll use a polar bear because she's a bear. First, let's get rid of a few things. Next, I'm gonna move these parts around a bit. Now, let's give her some new legs. And we'll make her body a lot smaller like this. Next, I'm gonna bend her body a little bit. And I'll just start to give her some arms on the side right here. And we'll just copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna start shaping her head. And we'll give her some ears on the top like this. Okay, that looks good. Now, it's time to color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a dark red. And we'll color her feet and hands a light pink. Now let's give her a big mouth like this, and we'll start to add her eyes on the top of the head. Next, let's give her some bright white pupils, and I'm gonna add a few more pink details. Next, let's give her a nose like this, and we'll add the heart that she has on her chest. Alright, I think this looks good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Bobby Bear Hug looks in game. I don't know why, but she kind of reminds me of Freddy Fazbear. It's probably because they are both bears, actually. That would make sense. Unlike Dog Day and Catnap, I decided to make it so that Bobby Bear Hug is passive towards players. And you are actually actually able to tame her if you feed her raw fish, because I'm pretty sure bears like fish. Once you tame Bobby Bear Hug, she will follow you around, and if you ever get low on health, you can right-click her and you will be healed to full health immediately, so she's pretty OP if you think of it. Bobby Bear Hug will also attack any mobs that are fighting you, and she does a ton of melee damage because bears are very powerful in real life. If you kill Bobby Bear Hug, I made her drop a heart, which just gives you a heart when it's right-clicked, and overall I don't think Bobby Bear Hug turned out that bad, I actually kind of like this design. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll make Bubba Bubba Fint. And I'm gonna use a Ravager because it kind of looks like an elephant. So first, let's just get rid of all this stuff. And I'm gonna start with Bobby Bear Hug's body. So let's change these ears into more elephant looking ears. And we'll change the nose into a big trunk like this. Next, I'm gonna reshape the heart into the shape of a light bulb. And we'll just change his tail on the back as well. Okay, now this is good. Let's give him some new colors. First, we'll color his body a light blue. And we'll give him the same color on his head. Next, I'm gonna 
color his feet and hands a darker blue. And we'll put this on the end of his tail as well. Now let's color in the light bulb on his chest. And I'm just gonna add a few more details all around his body. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how Bubba Bubba Fint looks in game. He looks a lot like Bobby Bear Hug. But to be fair, all the critters kind of look the same when you don't know what their monster form is like. Since Bubba Bubba Fint is an elephant, I decided to give him a ranged attack, which is supposed to be water shooting out of his trunk. He does shoot a lot of water though, so I'm not really sure how he fits it in his trunk. You might have also noticed that Bubba Bubba Fint emits light, and that's because his pendant is a light bulb, so I literally just made him a light bulb. Bubba Bubba Fint also can do a ton of melee damage like Bobby Bear Hug, and this is because an elephant is also a really powerful animal, I'm guessing. If you kill Bubba Bubba Fint, you will drop a light bulb, and the light bulb works just like a torch, except you are not able to place it. It's only meant to be held. Overall, I don't think Bubba Bubba Fint turned out that bad, and because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Piggy Piggy, and I'll use a pig because she's a pig. So first, I'm gonna remove all these pig parts, and we're going to start with Bubba Bubba Fint's body. So let's completely remove the trunk, and we'll start to make the ears a lot more pig-shaped. Next, I'm gonna give her a completely new nose, and I'm gonna change this light bulb into the shape of an apple like this. Now let's remove this tail, and we'll turn it into a spirally tail. Okay, now this is good, so it's time to change her colors. First, I'm gonna color her body light pink, and we'll color her head the same color. Now let's color her nose a darker pink, and we'll use the same color for her hands and her feet. Next, let's color in the apple we put on her chest. Now finally, let's color in the tail, and I think this is looking good. Let's add Picky Piggy to the game. This is how Picky Piggy looks in game. I don't know why, but her face looks a little bit scary. But other than that, she doesn't look that bad, I guess. I don't know, it's just really weird. Similar to Bobby Bear Hug, if you right-click Picky Piggy, she will give you hunger instead of health. And this is good, because you no longer need to kill pigs to get food now. Picky Piggy is also really picky according to her name, so I made it so that she attacks regular pigs, as she's very particular about what pigs she likes. If you kill Picky Piggy, I made it so that she drops a suspicious apple, and this apple just gives you a couple of potion effects, which kind of have me wondering what she did to the apple. Overall, I think Picky Piggy turned out pretty good, but her face just looks a little bit scary. So because of this, I decided to give her a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make Crafty Corn, and I'm gonna use a horse because that's almost a unicorn. So like usual, we'll remove all this horse stuff, and I'm gonna start from Picky Piggy's body. So let's just change these ears a little bit, and we'll start to give her some hair on the top like this. Next, I'm gonna add our unicorn horn on the top, and we'll change this apple into the shape of a flower. Now let's remove this tail, and we'll make it into a bushier tail like this. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's change her colors. First, we'll color her entire body white, and we'll do the same thing on her head. Now let's color her hair light blue, and we'll color her hands and feet the same color. Next, let's color in the flower that is on her chest, and I'm gonna color her unicorn horn a bit darker than her body, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Crafty Corn looks in game. I will say she's probably one of my favorite non-monster critters right now. Also, ignore the particles she's emitting. I just gave them to her because it felt like something she would do. You may have also noticed that every time Crafty Corn moves, a trail of rainbow-colored blocks follows her because her pendant is a rainbow flower, so it only makes sense. Another thing you can do is tame Crafty Corn using some wheat, and after you tame Crafty Corn, you are able to ride her similar to a horse. And this honestly looks really cool when it's paired with the rainbow trail that she has. If you kill Crafty Corn, she drops a rainbow sword, which is just a really OP sword that strikes lightning every time you hit something, and it also has a chance of exploding when using it as well. Just ignore the way it looks in my hand, though. I don't know how this happened. And overall, I think Crafty Corn is one of my favorite critters so far. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Hoppy Hopscotch. And I'll use a rabbit because she's a rabbit. First, let's remove all these rabbit parts. And I'm gonna start from Bubba Bubba Fint's body because it will be easier. So let's just change these ears into long rabbit ears. And I'm gonna change the light bulb into a lightning bolt like this. Now let's give her a completely different looking tail. And now this is good, so I'm gonna change her colors. First, I'm gonna color her body entirely green. And we'll just do the same thing on her face. Now let's color her hands and feet a bit darker green. And I'm gonna color her tail the same color. Next, I'm gonna add a bit more detail all around her body. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add her to the game. This is how Hoppy Hopscotch looks in game. She kinda has the same Freddy Fazbear looking face from before. But she still looks pretty good, despite not looking like a bunny. As you can see, Hoppy Hopscotch is really fast, and since she's a bunny, I decided to make it so that she can jump really high as well. And if you want some of this jumping power for yourself, you can right click on Hoppy Hopscotch and you will get jump boost for 30 seconds as well. If Hoppy Hopscotch gets in a fight, she strikes lightning on the enemy because her pendant is a lightning bolt, and if you kill Hoppy Hopscotch, she drops these green boots, which when worn will give you permanent jump boost just like she has. Overall, I think Hoppy Hopscotch turned
turned out pretty good. I especially like her ears. So because of this, I decided to give her an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make kicking chicken. And I'm obviously gonna use a chicken. First, I'm gonna remove the chicken like this. And just like the last time, we'll use Bubba Bubba Fint as a base. So let's just get rid of this trunk and we'll get rid of his ears. Next, I'm gonna make his face a bit bigger like this. Next, I'm gonna change the light bulb into a star. Now let's change his hands into wings. And I'm gonna add the hair that he has on his head right here. Next, I'm gonna give him a new tail like this. And I'm gonna add the beak on his face right here. Okay, now this looks good, so let's start to color him in. First, we'll color his body entirely yellow. And I'm gonna do the same thing on his head. Next, we'll color his feet orange. Now let's color his star a reddish color. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add kicking chicken to the game. This is how kicking chicken looks in game. This is definitely my least favorite smiling critter, I won't lie. But the fact that he's able to fly makes up for it a little bit. It makes him look more unique. It also gives him this cool flying animation, which doesn't actually look that cool. It looks a little bit weird, actually. If kicking chicken gets in a fight, he does a ton of knockback because he has kicking in his name. Also similar to Picky Piggy, kicking chicken also doesn't like regular chickens, but this time it has no reason. He's just a hater, I guess. If you kill kicking chicken, I made it so that he drops a star, and upon right-clicking the star, you will just start levitating in the air until you make it to the stars. And overall, I think kicking chicken doesn't look that good, but I like some of the features that he has. So because of this, I decided to give him a 7 out of 10.